Hello and welcome to ADTV. You join myself and Phil Spinks here on the banks of Homersfield Lake targeting big roach. And uh, the first thing I noticed, Phil, is it's, uh, it's not a small lake, so it's what, it's about 30 plus acres? Yeah, well, I think it's about 33 acres, yeah, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a big gravel a big pit. gravel pit. So uh, whereabouts do you start? What, what are you sort of looking for to, uh, to target the roach? Is there certain areas of the lake? I know it's a predominantly a carp fishery, yeah. um, but you must have sort of little tricks that you can find the roach yeah, quickly. I think for someone if you hadn't fished here before and how I started off mm -hmm. when I first fished it is if you're walking around at dawn or dusk you can see these big ropes rolling right. yeah. um, they're quite distinctive when they yeah. when they splash on the surface and the best bet is, is to have a couple of walks around and try and find areas of the lake where, where they yeah. show themselves right okay um, the big roach, yeah. in my experience, mm -hmm. are out in the open water. Right, you, okay. you, you can fish bays and margins and catch lots of little roach. Mm -hmm. but if you want big roach, you'll get less bites in open water, but you're more likely to get a, yeah. a big roach. And when we say big roach, we're talking two pounders? Yeah, two pounders are a really big roach. Right. Um, it's a little bit different here. There is an outside chance of a, a three a pounder. Three pounder, lovely job. So, yeah. um, but yeah. you know, the open water for the big roach yeah. is, I think it's self-generating. I've got a few swims on this lake that I've caught big roach from before. Yeah. So you get drawn to fish them again, Lose and them then again, yeah. if you catch yeah. another big one, it's suddenly close one of your favourite yeah. swims. Yeah. But um, yeah, open water. open water. I don't mind catching bream. Um, I find that if I just plod through the bream, eventually yeah. the, the big roach are, are in with the bream. So if you so you're fishing at um, quite quite a bit of a range. Um, so what sort of tactics do you, do you use to get the get the bait out there and to, and to fish at that range? It's, it's this is like miniature carp fishing. Right, okay. um, one pound test curve rods, small bait runners. Um, yeah. I use my marker sticks like a carp yeah, angler would. Yeah. I'm, I'm spotting bait out, which is all marked out at a certain distance. Right, yeah. My fishing rods are marked at the same distance, yeah. and you're trying to keep everything neat and tidy. Right, okay. Um, and it doesn't seem as if you can put too much bait in here. There's, yeah, there's, yeah, you know, there's for water. yeah, for every every two pound roach there's probably a, a hundred pound roach yeah, and yeah. loads of little roach and yeah. that they'll make short work of a bowl of ground bait right, right. So, you, so you're creating a, a baited spot you're fishing those feeders very tightly together then yeah yeah fairly neat Look, yeah. probably in an ideal world i like to think i'm landing on about the size of a snooker table right okay um, yeah. i'm not worried about landing on a sixpence no, you know no. it's um yeah, just keep it nice and yeah. neat and just keep the bait going in. Yeah, because I suppose the roach fishing I'm more used to is, is on the wens and stick floats and, you know, single red mag at that type yeah. of thing. So um, is there any sort of dif different types of baits that you're using? It can be very different depending on the time of the year. Um, when it's really cold in the winter, a lot of the small roach, will, but you won't catch so many small roach. Right. The, I've always found the colder it is, the bigger yeah. the roach I catch. Right, okay. and, and you can get away with fishing maggot feeders yeah. and fishing just double maggot sort on the hook. Sort lighter tactics. Yeah, you're still fishing yeah. these little mini bolt rigs, yeah, yeah. but it's now late March and everything's starting to wake up. Yeah, and, yeah. and my best bet of a, a bigger roach is to fish a little mini boily. Right. The, these big roach, they, they love carp anglers yeah, bait yeah. and we're just scaling everything down. Everything down. Brilliant, brilliant. So you obviously got a bit of ground bait. You're still putting a few little maggots in there. Yeah, yeah. The, the boilies and a bit of corn. Yeah, I've replaced my maggot feeders with ground bait feeders yeah, this time yeah. of year. Um, the ground bait will be laced with a few crumbled boilies and right. put a few maggots in there yeah, as well. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm spotting a mixture of sweet corn, mini boilies, maggots, casters. I tend not to put too many pellets out because I think yeah. it really does draw the bream in. Right, and, and I yeah, don't mind catching yeah. a few bream, but... Um, but you're, you're there for the, for the Yeah, I think so, I, yeah. I stand a better chance of drink, bringing the roach in if, if I just lay off the pellets yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Do you sort of start, start off by, what, sort of five spoms? Probably a good probably put a good 10 spoms out yeah, now. Yeah. It's a bit different in the winter. I'll put four or five spoms of just maggots right in the winter. Yeah. But um, everything, I mean, we've, we've had a tench this morning, so yeah. spring must be yeah. here. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, and, you know, there's just, if I'm not getting liners and the bite stop, I'm convinced all the bait's gone, so on right. top it, it, top it's, 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 yeah. a, it's, yeah. it's real yeah. busy fishing busy in, in fishing. March and April. Brilliant, it's, brilliant. And the rigs are just simple little open end cage feeders or yeah, on, it's on it's a fish. little heli rig? Yeah, I use the, the little quorum heli rigs. Yeah. Very yeah. short hook links um, yeah. probably I don't know two to three inches long um, may sound a bit overkill for roach fishing but right. I use I use six pound fluorocarbon okay just because I like that it's a bit bit stiffer than bit mono stiff. and it kicks that bait out a yeah bit it's more. Le less likely to tangle yeah um, 
uh, I mean, these these big ropes will pick up all these old fifteen pound carpus yeah. hook links. Yeah. So you haven't yeah. got to <laughs> scale everything. If anything, you're trying to put small ropes off. off. Yeah. So by being yeah. a little bit heavier and a yeah. little, you know, you're yeah. you're going to single out hopefully some bigger ones. Brilliant, brilliant. So your tactic sounds, you know, sort of spot on for for specimen angling and, and larger ropes. So uh, let's have take a look and give it a go. Yep, lovely yep. job. So these are the best two from an unbelievable day's roach fishing. Thanks again, Phil, for, for bringing us along. Hopefully you can take away a few tips that we've shown you and get out of the bank and try it for yourselves.